Greetings, hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Imperial Jedi. We're on the second episode of our little tutorial series, How to Start Your Transit Empire. And uh, yeah, we got a pretty good foothold in the first episode. We're unfortunately still in the negatives, but that was kind of expected. No surprise there. But we've got, uh, yeah, quite a bit set up. So we've got our inner city train link going. We've got our um, within the city um, public transit. We've got in between city public transit as well. So lots, uh, lots of stuff going on. And so my goal for this episode is uh, I'm going to do a couple things. Um, I want to bring the trains um, up to Pueblo, do some in-town transit here, and then I'd like to connect um, Vesalia to Pueblo with a um, with a boat. That'd be kind of fun, I think, right? Just get a nice big steamship or something going in between the, uh, the two cities. And then if time permits, I'd like to start um, working on a bit of an industrial route. I think just a really simple one for us to, uh, to go with would be bringing some food from this farm over to this um, processing plant right here. You can see these guys make food if you bring them, you know, grain and, and dairy. And then we can bring the food down to Detroit and we can start to, you know, grow Detroit a little bit. And we can even do like a connection between Fresno and Detroit just to start getting Detroit a little bit bigger. And then, you know, once Detroit is bigger, we can bring the rails over and start making some more money in that sense. And uh, what I'm going to do actually to start though is, uh, let me put the speed on. Uh, quite a few of you are really curious to see how long it takes um, for us to become profitable, or if we even become profitable at all. You know, I could just be talking on my high horse right here, but no, no, I, for sure we will be. Um, so what I'm going to do is a little bit of a time-lapse format. So I'm going to leave things running like this. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can kind of, you know, watch the city grow and stuff. Uh, let me just take off all of our little markers right here. That way it's not too, too annoying. So yeah, sit back, enjoy it. I'll leave the um, little budget panel open right here so we can see what our expenses and stuff are, are looking like. And then so uh, in the year 1900 when we started, this is everything we spent. So it's about 20 million to get us going. So more or less ballpark for that. You can see we're trying to keep it under 30 million. That was our, our goal. And then this just shows, you know, our expenses versus our revenues at the end of the year. And once we become profitable, we're winners. Well, to a certain extent. And then we can start to expand a little more comfortably. And then of course, we can always start to borrow too once we're profitable. Okay, so sit back, enjoy the time lapse, and uh, I'll see you guys when it's done. Alright, so uh, welcome back guys, so check it out. Uh, just in year two, we became profitable, so that's, I mean, that's fantastic. Did not take very long at all, so let's just throw these back on, help us find things again. See, I wasn't, I wasn't lying. It's very, very, very quick. Uh, so now that we've got a little bit of wiggle room, we can take out some more loans, and we can kind of uh, tackle some of the things we wanted to um, do when I was uh, just kind of listing stuff off in the start right there. But before we jump into that, um, you may notice, especially in your own cities too, that there are certain routes that are really getting like too many people. So line five, let's sneak a peek at that one. You can see every route is profitable, by the way, just for reference. Uh, so line five, let's click on that one. That is the Detroit um, little bus route. We need more buses. Not a bad thing at all. Let's just go ahead and buy some. Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, of course, we're still in the negatives, duh. But we're profitable, so we can borrow, which is totally no problem for me. So we're gonna borrow. And then we're going to go ahead and buy, say another five or so. Five for five. Perfect. And then let's take a look in town, see if any of these routes are backed up. No, not really. So that's a simple fix for, for that city. <clears throat> and this is just to maximize how much money we're actually making, which is, again, definitely not a problem at all. So I have a feeling it's probably going to be the same thing over here. Line number nine. Okay, let's look at this. On line number nine is, of course, the bus route between Buffalo and Wilmington. So, yeah, let's do another five or so buses on this route, too. Great. Otherwise, I think our in-town lines are doing pretty darn good. Trains are starting to fill up, which is also great. Let's click on one of these. Yeah, about halfway. Not so bad. But the important thing, of course, is that we're profitable. Okay, so onward and upward, I guess. 
So this will be the makings of a new train route, but what we're going to do is just have a little quick um, route going from uh, Pueblo to Little Rock. We'll just kind of go back and forth, same way we got this set up. And then we'll connect, yeah, with a boat. So that'll be that'll be kind of cool. Uh, kind of cool. It's something something new for us. I was gonna say fun, but I, I was going for cool last second, and it came out almost full. And now you're probably wondering what the heck is going on here. All right. So we'll just do a little bit more in-town road kind of lane, just like we always do. And then we'll just drop in a train station at the top right here, just kind of pointing in the direction that we want. Do some upgrades. Um, that's what I'm looking for. And I wonder if we can make this a bit of a wider. Great. Ain't nothing wrong with extra lanes. Okay, so a train station. And let's make this one a two track. Um, a lot of hills over here, it looks like. So maybe the flatter part down here is a better better match for us yeah that's a really good save that money whenever you can okay so we'll go like that let's stretch out uh, this road just a little bit just so we have it as a reference and then we can oh I see I see so instead let's take this out it's a good thing we did that now, I wonder if we can get a tunnel going because that probably is gonna be our best bet Mm-hmm. So this is going to be an expensive, uh, an expensive undertaking. Not that that's a bad thing. And again, you can see that we're profitable. And in terms of a loan interest, for us to take out the full thirty million, that would cost us three hundred thousand. So we can cover the cost of a full, full loan right now. So we're going to take a little bit more out. So don't let this scare you or anything. We'll leave that five million for like kind of a bit of a safety net. So we'll need to buy some vehicles. And then you know, let's let's be let's be creative here. Obviously, we can see a tunnel. It's very, very, very expensive. So, I mean, in a perfect world, we would avoid doing a tunnel, or we'd just make, like, a really small one. So why don't we try and cut through, say, around here? And it's just, it's really, it's the amount of terraforming that's going in that's costing us so much right now, but... Oh, well, I think we kind of knew that by putting the train station in and around this spot, but... There we go. That's a better way through. So instead of spending a million plus, I think we spent maybe five or six hundred thousand right there. So that's a lot. That's a lot easier on the pocketbooks. And I saw the tunnels and bridges and stuff aren't cool. It's just in the beginning, they're kind of expensive to um, to build. So I'll try and find like flat ground. If and if and when. Okay. Alright, so now that these are connected, we'll just put in just like our basic switches and signals. It's just, you know, nothing nothing new right here. Great, going for maximum speed. So stopping people coming in. There's the switch when you leave. Perfect. There's just our little signals to keep it going. Perfect. And road crossing. Okay. Not too much further. Oh, of course, these are these ones here, which we haven't um, hadn't finished doing yet. Of course, of course, of course. I was like, how are there so many? Oh, excellent. We got some uh, new vehicles coming too. And I saw that we uh, unlocked a um, a new train during the uh, the time lapse there. Okay, so you're gonna stop uh, if you're coming in. And your next one will be right here. Stopping right there. Stopping when you're entering. Passing that, stopping here. And then there should be, yeah, that one right there. Okay, cool. And we're gonna be going uh, this direction. So let's worry about signals right here right now. Awesome, cool. Okay, let's put in our switch on this side. Cool. Yep, 
yeah, that's uh, that's perfect. Maybe we can have one more in between here, just for a little bit of a faster station outflow. Otherwise, oh, we're looking good. People are waiting for these trains now. Ooh. Capacity almost at capacity. What are we doing for money now? Oh, of course we're spending, right? But So, we are take out the 2 million. What are we doing for income? Oh, 2.66. Oh, hey now. Okay. So, minus what we're spending for... Um, oh, that's a running cost. Never mind. Take that back. Oh, so maybe we're only spending... Oh, I can't do the math here. Oh, gosh. All right, bad example, but I know we're profitable. But it's, I wish they did a better breakdown right there. Um, okay. Stay on track, please. And that's a terrible train pun. Um, in town transit. Let's put down our little shipping corridor. And we're just going to do passengers to start. We'll worry about, um, uh, like, cargo and stuff a little later on. So we are unfortunately losing quite a few buildings. I just really, I love that spot. I think that's kind of neat. So it's money, you know, in the, in the long run, well spent. But that's kind of expensive to do that often, so just be aware of that. Um, okay, so this is just our little boat dock. Put that nearby. Excellent. Cool. So yeah, I guess we'll do the in-town transit uh, really quickly in, um, in Pueblo before we move on. Because if we get our like buses and that kind of stuff going, we'll at least be making some money as we're doing the rest of our building. So we will eventually have train routes still going up here. It's just kind of fun to have you know boats and stuff, right? And then, you know what would be really cool is if we had a, a, a road or something going over top of this to make like a bridge. I don't know if the pillars are going to work, just because of the way the uh, signals and everything are in place, but we can try. I'll move this signal really quickly. Oops. Of course, that'll also remove the signal, but that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Maybe easier said than done. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd have to make it a little bit, um, a little bit bigger. And, and don't worry about this right now. We'll, we'll do that kind of fun stuff afterwards. Okay, uh, in town transit, just a simple little line. We'll just kind of do our little formula. So we connect that right here, not too far for people to have to walk. That's close enough. And why don't we have one down here near the um, uh, the ferry dock? It's just a little expensive, but I mean the houses out of all the buildings are the cheapest to remove, so I'm not saying it's the worst to put it here. We're gonna have to contend with that um, crazy bit of road though. Yeah, that's better. Just to get rid of that little bit of uh, terraforming. Okay. Uh, put in the bus stops. And again, this should look pretty familiar. Just doing as many as we need type of thing. Well, a little bit more than we need, actually. We'll still kind of follow that same same format in case things kind of take a little bit of a, um, a, little bit of a dive south in terms of our budget. And then just like other towns, we kind of expect this one to grow, so we're going to put um, stops in parts of the city that don't have people just yet, but if you build it, they will come type thing. Okay. And just maybe one more in here. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I love it. Let's do some new lines here. Let's leave that off to the side. So the one that just goes uh, in town. And just back that way, super simple. Let's put in our depots, get our vehicles going. And let's get some trams too, because trams are awesome. And then something I didn't show you guys in the last episode, um, just because we really haven't um, unlocked too many vehicles, but since we're in this uh, little window pan right here, um, 
this right here, the automatic vehicle replacement, highly recommend you use it. Um, when you click on it, it's going to give you the option like when you want to replace your vehicle. I usually keep it at 100%. And then you're going to have to go ahead and set a vehicle. Usually, I, I go through the trouble of doing this once we unlock the next vehicle that I want to use to replace this. Otherwise, we have to do it like again. But just you know, something to be aware of. So you would click this and um, just set that to yes. And then you can kind of see it's now different color or it's like a little bit brighter but we're not gonna worry about that just yet but something just to be aware of so it kind of helps uh, manage things a little bit more easily okay so speaking of buses yeah, line 10 great all right let's get some uh, get some trams going now so we'll have our outer route as trams and I, I honestly love trams. They're so great. And like we have, um, it's interesting. Like I'm in Toronto. We don't call them trams. We call them streetcars. But we got them here, and they're I love them. They're great. Like surface trains, you know, which of course makes they, uh, trains are on the surface anyway. Oh goodness, unless they're in, unless they're sky trains, like if you're in Vancouver, which is like overhead metro. Very complicated stuff here in Canada. Um, okay, so tram tracks, you can kind of see our little stops here with the tram icon now. Perfect. Um, Alright. Doing this rather quickly. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, so that's that side. Let's go the other way now. Oh, um, did I go the wrong... Oh, good, I did not. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, I did. Um, oh, sugar sticks. Um, okay, let me back this up here. Sorry, guys. We've put one too many stops in place here. Okay, so these ones I want to um, erase. Um, let me move that really quickly. Sorry about that, guys. Getting a little sidetracked. And then we were going up this way. There we go. And then back like that. Yeah, perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, and then keep that open. Getting all over the place. No problem. And then we're going back over here to add stations. Great. So yeah, it gets a little sometimes complicated. But no problem. No need to get all flustered or anything. So we double check. 11 and 11. And this was our little... Uh, was it the issue right there? But we're good. Okay, so let's buy some trams. Let's drop that over here. And put these on line 11. And put these ones on line 12. Great. Okay, so much to do, much to do. Another line now for the... Trains, so Pueblo over to Little Rock. And then what we're going to need to do now is, so these were just placeholder. Um, we're actually going to have them point both in the same direction. Maybe we're going to have to fix this for, um, for the sake of um, terraforming, but I might do that a little bit off camera, no problem. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, though, is bring this rail to kind of follow with this and then we're going to connect that one across so we can use the same um, uh, same garage so we're not going to get maximum speed out of this that's not a problem at all this is like in and out of a station area so probably be going a little bit slower anyway and then what I'm going to do is have these uh, collapse into here or if we decide to make um, Detroit a little bit of a bigger city, which I think we will, because look at the size of it already, right? It's already added a few extra streets in here. I think what we can do is have a double track setup come into Detroit, so I have four lines in here, and then break that down. And I have, actually, I have some cool ideas, but we'll we'll save those for for later. Okay, so let's get. I don't know if we have enough room to get that over though. And it doesn't have to be fast. This is just so that we can use the um, um, the little garage there. 
Great. So that's a tight little turn, but I think we're okay to still make it. And then our regular switch is going to be right over here. And then this part will terraform away. So that's your switch. That's your leaving. Alright. Oh my. Lots to do right here. Um, okay. I think we're ready to bring a train in. Our new train. Oh, that's fast. Oh, yeah. That's high running cost, though. So we can go 100. Let's grab this one here. How many people is that? 54. Um, 72. Oh, boy. So faster train. Maybe we can try doing two on the line. This is the safety net. That's why we kept that money around. Perfect. So we'll set those both onto our new line. And there they go. And I want to watch that switching kind of take place. Just for just for fun. Let's put it on two speed. Let's build a train too. Actually, what I really like is that it's uh, like kind of a green locomotive with um, green um, uh, passenger cars. That's very sharp. Cool. Okay, now that we're going fast, let's slow this down. I almost want to watch this even from like first person. Okay, let's do it. Let's see this. Oh, neat. Well, that's that's sharp. We're okay though. Oh yeah, that's, that's totally doable. In fact, that's more than doable. That's great. All right. I don't know if we're gonna get the world of passengers right away. So, just in order to still be um, profitable, let's um, kind of kick this in overdrive and get some people in and out of um, Vesalia. Just losing a couple buildings. Just one right there is even better. And of course, you know, same old song and dance, but very important to uh, continue doing this in every city we're in. And then, if you do find that those auto saves, that they're that a little bit of a lag spike really bugs you, just turn off the auto save. Totally, totally up to you. Compared to Train Fever, though, this game does not lag as much as um, as much as that did. Um, let me put that in here. Maybe a little bit closer. It looks like no problem. Let's build herself another little. Hopefully. Hmm. I don't think we have the right height over here. Okay. I'll play by your rules. Okay, we're just doing that. No problem. And we already have our boat garage in. So let's go ahead and create a new line. So new line, we're going from Vesalia over to Pueblo. Excellent. Cool. And let's buy some ships. Just get passenger. And we want just the faster of the two. So ooh, 26, we'll take that. Well, let's put three of them on the line. Let's watch these bad boys in action. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now to give uh, Vesalia a fighting chance, let's do some in-town transit over here. We're not going to bring in the trains, which is no problem. We're just going to do a really simple, just kind of boxed, um, boxed out trans uh, transit kind of, kind of thing happening. And because of how small the town is, I don't know if we're going to do that little route that just kind of goes back on itself. 
I think we're just going to have one that just kind of goes around the, um, the outskirts. But the town, it should grow pretty quickly. So let's just do a quick little run of these. And also, I mean, we don't have a uh, train station set up yet, right? So I'm not really sure where everything's going to be. But we'll give the city a bit of um, room to grow. So we'll go on the outer, outer ring like this. Yeah, that's pretty good reach. Okay, so new line, please. Nice soft lavender color. Perfect. Just get the other side going. Okay, so 11 and 11, that's great, it's just what we're after. Let's put in a garage, a little depot. We'll do five, it's kind of a good number for us. And that'd be our lavender color. Awesome. So these will now help the um, the boats get some more uh, more passengers. I really just don't think anyone's been waiting just yet. Oh, okay, one person. Hey, all right, one person on the boat too. Cool. The system is working. We have people waiting over here, which is good. Now the trains. I don't think these are going to be profitable for a while, which is not the end of the world. We can take a look at our our lines anyhow and see where the profits kind of line. So these are the new um, routes we just set up. So again, not profitable, no problem. These ones here, awesome, very profitable. And the main thing is we want this train line to offset the other train line because trains are the most expensive right now. And then of course, as we grow, like, you know, the trains will be our biggest profiter, right? So now this is fun, this is cool. And we have the train separated in the station. So we don't have to worry about traffic because these guys are going at different speeds now. We'll eventually have some different speeds on the same rails, but for the moment, this is just a really easy way just to kind of balance um, balance everybody. And then eventually, you know, we'll have connections going to Pueblo onward and, oh boy, lots, lots still to do. And I would like to start the little industrial connection, but I think we're gonna save that for our next episode. We got, um, like I said, still quite a bit to do, but we got quite a bit done, so nothing wrong with that. And then just so you can kind of get a little overview of how your cities are doing, you can always click on the um, the name right here, and you can kind of see. So our population is excellent. We don't really have any goods or anything to kind of, no shopping, that kind of stuff, really. So we got to start bringing some, some stuff into the towns. We're kind of like a population-driven kind of economy right now, which is not a bad thing. Just using a lot of passenger trains, right? But... We gotta move in and move into industry, if I can just speak here. And uh, yeah, I think we'll do that in our next episode. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna leave you with this. Perhaps the last thing we can do now that this just caught my attention is just maybe add one or two more vehicles to the line. So line number two and three could possibly use another. So line two is the trams. Great. I think line three was our buses. Awesome. How's line four doing? Not that many people. I think we're okay. All right. So those little things. Keep an eye out for them. It's usually usually the passenger um, uh, kind of points near the um, train stations. Those are the ones that kind of fill up first. Let's just yeah look and see what uh, what lines need more people. So I think we can do the same thing over here. So it looks like line number nine, which is a the Buffalo one. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, and then line number six, that one we can do. Oh, I want. 
Oh, it was buses for line six, of course. All right. So now I'm going to leave you guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in episode three where we start our hand at some uh, industry. Otherwise, things are, things are rolling, guys. We're making two million plus right now. Pay back some of these loans, save on some interest. We did it. We are profitable. We are having fun. We got people using our lines. We got some eye candy to sit back and look at. Yeah, we are going places. All right, guys. Hope uh, things are doing well in your own cities, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. All the best.